What is up guys? This weekend I am going on my bachelorette trip to Austin, Texas. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, I did a little Instagram vote of where you would like me to post my pack with me video, either on YouTube or Instagram. And a lot of you voted for YouTube, so I'm going to show you what I will be packing for Austin. Okay. Hey, all I'm gonna say. Hey Joey, get in here too! <laughs> Two of Mitchell's friends are in my video and they won't leave me alone. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys are going to be in Austin, Texas, maybe I'll see you, maybe I won't. But here is my pack with me video. I'm going to show you all the outfits. I'm not trying them on. I'm just going to show you if you want to see what they look like. Follow me on Instagram because I will post them there. And I will link everything on my Instagram account if you like something. Or you can DM me and I will give you the link for it. All right, so here we go. First outfit, we have this crop sweater I got from H&M. Super cute with these Princess Polly pants. They're like a baggier fit. I'm going to wear this outfit with these bad ass boots. These are amazing. These are from Steve Madden. They're seriously so comfortable and... It's gonna look really good together. V-neck sweater, I feel like this is huge right now. A lot of bloggers have been posting about this sweater. It's from H&M. They've been pairing it with like a button down shirt under it and it looks really good. I'm gonna be pairing it with a turtleneck because it's gonna be really cold in um, Austin. So I gotta stay warm. So I'm gonna be pairing it with that. And then I'm gonna wear these white pants under it. I got these from Zara and it has a slit at the bottom. It's gonna look really cute. I have to try it on because I haven't tried this outfit on yet to make sure I do like it 100%. And then the shoes I'm gonna wear with that are these pretty little heels. They're gonna strap up. I got these from Revolve. And then my next outfit, I was told to wear like a cute, comfy outfit. So I literally ran to Urban Outfitters. I got this little Dior hat. I got this off of um, Poshmark. And then I got this little set from Urban Outfitters. This sweater is so soft. It feels like cashmere, but it's not. And then I got these pants. Okay, these pants I laugh at all the time because they're literally like as wide as my hand. But I swear they stretch really easily. These are a size small. They look like they could fit a baby doll, but they're really cute on. And then I'm going to pair them, I think. <laughs> With these shoes. These are also from Zara. I feel like they're like Prada dupes, but... You know, not Prada and a quarter of the price. Anyways, <laughs> one of the last outfits I'll be wearing. We're only there for three days, so I'll is I'm going to show you. No. <laughs> oh, my God. This is super cute. I originally got this when, I think this is from Nasty Gal. When I first mentioned that we were going to Austin like a couple months ago. This is one of the very first outfits I got. Like I said, it's going to be cold, and I really wanted to wear that outfit because I thought it was like the perfect outfit for Austin. It's like... Got the like country but chic vibe. So since it's gonna be cold, I'm gonna be wearing these knee high boots. I got these last year and I wore them in Nashville last year. Got them from Topshop. They're super comfortable, super cute. I don't know if they're selling them anymore. I will try and find them. And then I'm gonna pair it with a pea coat because like I said, it's gonna be cold. So I got this pea coat from Zara. I know it's kind of hard to like visualize all the outfits of just me like showing you them and not having me wear them. But like I said, follow my Instagram so you guys can see what they look like on because I promise they're gonna look so good. I've put so much thought into these outfits and I've had to change it like 10 times because the weather kept getting colder and colder and colder. And then for accessory wise, I wanna show you this bomb necklace I just got. It's literally a vintage Chanel authentic zipper, or like not a zipper, but like the the piece that you would zip up on a Chanel piece of clothing. My friend makes takes these buttons and everything, finds them, and then turns them into necklaces or bracelets. Like, look how amazing this is. I'm seriously obsessed. I've bought so many products from her. They're great quality. They're original. They're amazing. So I'm going to leave her in my description. Got, I'm, 
I'm gonna leave her in my description box so you guys can go check her out if you guys want to purchase something. Okay, then as for my Halloween costume, I am gonna be a dead bride. I got this dress from Revolve and it wasn't gonna work out because <laughs> it was too cold, so I couldn't wear it, so I had to opt and find something else. So I ran to Forever 21, found the perfect dress. It's a sweater dress, turtleneck, pretty long sleeve. It's not like super thick, but you know, it's a lot warmer than my other dress. It has a slit. I'm probably gonna wear those knee high boots with it over there. And then what I'm really happy about that I kind of like opted to this dress is because I was gonna put like fake blood all over the other dress, but the other dress was kind of expensive and I felt like really guilty ruining it. So I'm glad that I found this dress because it was only like 15 bucks. So I don't feel as bad like putting fake blood all over it and like essentially ruining the dress. So right now I'm just gonna like kind of pack everything in my suitcase and get everything situated. I'm kind of like really excited about this trip. I've never been to Austin. Um, we kept going back and forth of not going and then going and then not going just because of Corona. I had originally like almost like 18 to 15 girls going but I just limited it down to my bridal party to make the group smaller. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you later. Bye!